In fact, Smriti and uh, I and one more girl, we used to be pretty close. And after Miss India, also we did a few things together. We did music videos, and we used to uh, go and you know practice drills for it together. So uh, I still remember those days. And uh, whenever we talk to each other, which is not that often anymore, but we always uh, talk about those days. Now I feel uh, I think we just got lucky because uh, when my kids were really small, uh, Instagram wasn't that popular. you know so it is right now so i i feel really bad for the star kids uh, i was always very lucky i was always given everything on a platter so i never really had to struggle like hiten had to initially you know uh, to get into it but i like i told you how i got my first break and after that i never had to look back I'm welcoming today here on E Time somebody who's an actor, a yogini, an entrepreneur, a mother, a wife. She dons many, many hats. She's been one of my personal favorites, and I've grown up watching her shows, and I'm still very soon going to be watching her as she makes her debut on the silver screen. Hi, this is me, Hesha Chima, and today I'm welcoming here on E Time Gauri Pradhan Page Vani. Hello. Hello Gauri first of all I think I was saying this even before we started rolling that I was a huge fan of yours <laughs> from your kutum days itself I, so I feel like you know that hair that you had you always had short hair and you know used to come and I still remember up used to wear that one evil eye ka bracelet really yeah I don't know I remember <laughs> you wear this and I harrowed my mother ye mujhe yeah I want the same 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 one jo Gauri ne pehna jo Gauri ne pehna she's like क्या हो गया मैं नहीं नहीं आती शी वेयरिंग दिस वन नी वेल आई ब्रेसलेट इन द शो आई वांट टू वेयर इट आई सॉ इवन एंड क्योंकि यू टू वेयर ऑन एंड ऑफ इन द मिडिल दैट वाज वन थिंग दैट आई रिमेंबर्ड बट यस व्हाट ब्रिंग्स मी हियर टुडे टू टॉक टू यू इज ऑफ कोर्स दैट यू आर गोना बी मेकिंग योर बिग सिल्वर स्क्रीन दैन यू विद योर फिल्म आर यू एक्साइटेड या वेरी एक्साइटेड नर्वस बिकॉज दिस इज द what ever said and done uh, it's the silver screen and this is my debut like you said so uh, actually more than nervousness a lot of excitement uh because once you uh, once you are an actor then that eventually the nervousness goes away but obviously i'm sure big the biggest stars also if their film is releasing today the uh, um, it's not good not to be nervous yeah. you know so yeah the little nervousness is there but more excitement You know, I want to ask you. So, when you started off early on in the 2000s, back in the day, you started with Femina Miss India. Yes. With and you had Smriti Irani as well yes. with you at that point in time. Like, did you ever imagine like you will no. eventually land up in a show together? No. Never. In fact, Smriti and uh, I and one more girl, we used to be pretty close. And after Miss India, also we did a few things together. We did music videos and we used to uh, go and you know practice drills for it together. So uh, I still remember those days, and uh, whenever we talk to each other, which is not that often anymore, but we always uh, talk about those days. So those were the days. What do you miss about those days, if anything? I think the the attitude which we had, the carefree attitude, which can never come back after once you have a family, kids, and husband, and dogs, and home. It's it's never the same. Oh yeah, you're a dog mom too. I just said that in the introduction. Yeah, <laughs> I have two of them. Oh lovely. But then you know, Gauri, I think I've read one of your interviews before, so that you said that you've not been somebody who's been extremely competitive by nature. Yeah, not ambitious at all. Yeah, you, yeah, actually, that's the word, not ambitious at all. But don't you think you had like enough potential to kind of kill it, even like after like. अभी तो आप actors को देखो सबको TV के बाद they want to move to say OTT, a big screen. Of course, you're doing it right now. But what was the mindset back then? I have been always. Uh, I'm I'm very content with what I have, uh, and I'm I'm uh, I'm very creative. So I'm always learning something at every stage uh, of life. So if I'm working on a project at the same time simultaneously I you would find me doing or learning something creative it could be painting or some art or some um, it could be anything so um, I'm al always doing 10 things simultaneously so it's jack of all trades basically uh, so but yeah so I don't know I'm just happy if as long as I'm doing something creative 
I am happy. I am content. If I had to ask you, was was like a personal life uh, approach, let's say becoming a mother or like running a home, a more crux reason that okay, I can put work behind because there is where my focus should be at. Of course, for the first five years at least, I totally dedicated those five years to my children. Um, even now is, uh, but not uh, now. They they are okay. Now they are old enough. They are thirteen now, and they are okay if I work. Earlier they were not okay at all. Not that I listen to them, but I also wanted to spend time with them. So I think once they turn five, I did a couple of shows. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a long gap in between, but I did uh, one more. I did two shows actually. So it's not that I didn't work, but uh, I only want to work if uh, you know it's it's, it's like, like uh, something, something really, really great comes my way. Mm. Otherwise, Otherwise, I'm okay, I'm okay with what I am doing or where I am. So I think 2000 ke baad five six years break. Five years, if I'm not wrong. Five years. And then I think 2017 uh, was the new show when you got out to it. 2017, yeah, 20, 2018, I think. Around that time. So at that point, like let's say when they say you were coming back, the comeback, all these words bother you. You're like, "Hey, chale." See, I am not somebody who gets bothered by all this. Even on social media, there's so many trolls saying different things. Yesterday, only I was reading something. It was so funny. uh i just read it out to my kids because they are sitting with me where somebody said that i i do these i teach fa- uh, face yoga also right and antenatal yoga and so i i just posted one of my videos yesterday and somebody said a very funny thing uh you know all these celebrities they have makeup artists and dentists and dermatologists and all these people waiting there for them and then they come on uh, and, and do a shoot and then they post a video i just want to tell them you know yeah i have people working for me but that's my daughter and my son to shoot the video <laughs> there's nobody else but these things so my son was like mama just write something now why do you keep quiet i said it doesn't bother me so it's fine it's okay let them think whatever they want to think you know just coming from that i feel you know when when we watched you there was a particular episode i remember when hitain was in the big boss house and you had come in you were so composed with your thoughts you say what you have to say jo bother karta hai say it and that composure i personally feel comes a lot with somebody who's either meditating or is into a health practice or maybe they just born like that what is it in your case now i know you're doing yoga and i think it's a mix of all <laughs> mix of everything <laughs> like it's always like when you walk you know so there's very diya mirza vibe i get from when i tell so diya mirza so like you know oh, what is the diya mirza vibe very very like calm. like always calm. centered i feel calm centered show sure, there are things that bother everyone matlab yeah. nobody i mean everybody has their own struggles correct. issues but but you won't know but we wouldn't know correct so that sometimes some people have that poker face you don't even have that poker face you have a very warm you know affectionate energy and vibe but if it's bothering you i'm centered you won't like maybe i feel if the correct way to say is that you won't react to it you will respond to it yeah because i am not somebody who is very uh uh expressive about my thoughts even with my close people yeah i'll keep it inside i'll do something about it i will not brood i'll do something about it but i don't like i don't open up very soon, soon. even with my close friends i also feel that one of the positive things is that today of course there's a lot of media frenzy there social media pehle bhi print tha aisa kuch nahi hai um when they say there are controversies children controversies child you've not been one of those you know there's a few written about things here and there but i feel like at that given point in time as well you know you've handled it well i feel you maintained your dignity but at a young age when you're young like in my 30s also i feel i'm not composed i'm all over the place i'm sure when you started off as 18 when you did femina yeah there was so i i when i think about it today there were so many distractions that time also but uh, I guess I was always very focused. I knew what I wanted from life. So when I started modeling, I did ramp uh, for a couple of years, and then I got bored. And then I wanted to go back home and study. I've always been a studious child. Uh, so my parents have always supported me because they also knew that she knows what she wants. So then I decided to go back to Pune and study further. And then I go. I'm at a party with. I used to stay as a PG that time in Bandra and with my landlady. And there are all these filmies around. And one of them is Mr. Pankaj Dhir. So he said, you know, somebody is looking for uh, a girl uh, who's to play Noor Jahan. Okay, it was a big thing then. And they have auditioned about 200 girls, but they've not found anybody. So I said okay so she said no can you just go and meet them I said listen I'm not interested I've decided I'm going back to Pune and study or do something So then he told spoke to my landlady he said please convince her to go and at least meet them Then uh, she tried she tried to convince me the whole night then I spoke to my parents in the morning over the phone they said why not just give it a shot go see you never know and then decide 
so i went and uh, i just said yes to them because uh, it was so interesting because i had to learn uh, sport fighting fencing i had to learn urdu i had to go for acting classes which i didn't find very interesting but i think <laughs> everything else was really interesting so i said yes to them and i think milin soman was my co-star co co and it was a big show it was a doordarshan that time there were not no not too many channels it was a doordarshan and a bbc production uh, and it was shot in it was a bilingual show it was shot in urdu and english okay wow that is why the urdu you had to learn yeah so it was amazing it was a great experience to start off with and that's how this journey started so i i just feel that if you're meant to do something it will happen so that focus yeah on yeah well. exactly has it also been that you are somebody who doesn't take i now correct me if i'm wrong i personally feel that you don't take things way too seriously you know um you'll give your attention to by, by that what i mean is some people are over critical about what they do some people are self obsessed some people are narcissists and it's a very common thing when they say ki actors hi hote but i think sab hote hain hum bhi thoda bahut yeah i don't think you're any of that so if at any point you have to give up also something i don't think you took it with you took it you didn't take it with a pinch of salt you were like i'm happy correct and my needs are very basic so you know it wouldn't bother me if i have to let go of something but now when you were like you know taking it back you know they say once an actor always an actor uh, i was talking to sunil shetty and i asked him that i said what drives you back to being an actor when you have so many other successful businesses he said the reason i have so many other successful businesses is because i'm an actor you know and he said this is a passion you put the camera on i will be able to give it my best do you feel Yeah like I said I've started yoga but so I have so many followers and I have so many students and people like to watch me and you know send mails and messages and whatever on Instagram and other social media because they're my fans right most of them are my fans even my students who I teach 90% of them are my fans and that's why and they're from all over the world so many of them are from the US Canada and UK so yeah definitely you know and they say ki ddlj is for bollywood there is kyunki saas bhi kabhi bahut hi for television chalte hi ja raha hai chalte hi ja raha hai star one laga denge wahan pe bhi dikhega youtube pe jayenge yeah it is constantly yeah, people keep telling keep watching it also yeah. tell me how is it when you were a part of such an iconic show and it's a lineage that chalte hi jata hai chalte hi jata hai se gaurav pasand hai kutto it was a lot of fun more than anything else because all of us like minded young crowd um i also got married just before starting kyuki uh i remember wearing the chuda and going for work for the first day of kyuki so um and I, people used to think me as a big take me as a big snob with to, even today but today i'm much better once you have kid i because i don't talk if you don't know me or i don't know you you're an introvert yeah mm, that's right so uh, before kyunki also before i met hitain while kutum kutum days um, i would sit in one corner read my book and not talk to anybody so people used to get scared to talk to me also even the people on the set mm -hmm. so but uh, kyunki changed it a bit because i got along with everybody and it was so nice and it was like one big family all the women used to sit together bitch gossip and eat food and hitain used to be the only guy sitting <laughs> with us so it was a lot of fun Uh, so all of us had a lot of fun, and we were all very close. Um, uh, some of us are still in touch. So I think um, that way it was really good. And uh, Karan Nandini really, really worked. Uh, I remember I had just permed my hair, and and then Ekta messages me or calls me and says, "Gauri, can you please straighten your hair?" I said, "Ekta, I have just permed it. If I have to straighten it, I'll go bald." <laughs> and do it i said you know give it some time yeah. give it 15 days if it doesn't work then i'll straighten it mm. and that became such a rage yeah, my is. hair and my clothes and everything there were clothes hanging in the stores outside yeah. saying nandini you know yeah. and the, even the hair yeah. so she never called me after that to <laughs> tell me that <laughs> so right. yeah so it was amazing um coming back to the time when you came back to doing your tv shows and everything from your say kutum your other days your kyunki days to the new show was there a difference that you felt nothing nothing was changed nothing everything changed. was the same nothing changed nothing. at all so when people talk about you know over the years evol evolution ho jata hai things evolve maybe content wise yes hmm. but otherwise no 
I was somebody the way of also, walking and um, everything else is the same. The shoot hours are also yes. as high as they were before. Uh, yeah, and um, uh, Mondays have gone down. <laughs> it used to be a lot more earlier. <laughs> oh wow! I thought they were going to grow up. No change, but you know, be so. I feel it's also a good thing. I don't think it has a bad way when people actually come out and talk about struggles. Earlier, it was all very concealed. Yeah, so yeah, correct, that. correct. Uh, now people talk about struggles. You had any struggles or you were chill? No, uh, I was always very lucky. I was always given everything on a platter, so I never really had to struggle. Like mm. Hiten had to initially, mm. you know, uh, to get into it. But I, like I told you, how I got my first break, and after that, I never had to look back. So I'm thankful. For Thankful for that. I'm. I'm. I know it doesn't happen with everybody, mm. but uh, when people go through a lot of shit, but um, it. I did not have to struggle. I did get everything on a platter, so I'm grateful. Hitain is doing a show even right now on a very popular one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys come back home and discuss work? Uh, not a lot. Hmm. Maybe just if something like really exciting or a big thing happens. Otherwise, no. When you got the film project, you know that's huge. Obviously, every yeah. time when you transition from any platform, I feel like for me, if my mom watches even an interview of mine, she'll give it to five other people <laughs> in my house and be like, "Did you get that interview?" Okay, I'm like, "Arey, this is an everyday <laughs> thing. Yeah, what are you doing?" But I do understand if something larger than life happens. So uh, we are very okay. Him and me are very chilled about it. But parents get very excited. My parents get very excited. Mm. Even like you said, not only about the silver screen, but yeah. they always get excited about any new project. That you do. Yeah. And what about the kids? Do they also get excited? Kids don't get excited about all this. They're <laughs> <laughs> like, "Mama, kahan pe jayegi? Ghar pe nahi milegi hume." So yeah, and I've always tried to kind of keep them away from all this hmm. so that they can concentrate on their studies and other things. So they are okay. They're also chilled. They are chilled. Between you and Nitin, who's the stricter parent? What do you think? You? Yeah, obviously <laughs> I'm the Hitler mother. <laughs> He is very chilled out. Yeah. I have to be a Hitler to him also. Oh my god! Like kids, at least listen. Now yeah. with him, though, it's difficult because of the age. So I just have to make my eyes at him all the time. <laughs> that you also know. But is it difficult when you have to, you know, very successful parents like you and Nitin both are public figures. You know, you all have kids. I think it's very well protected in your case. It's not as hammering as it is for others. Probably that also comes from you know the fact that you are an introvert. You keep things concealed. But otherwise, do you feel it's difficult to bring an upbringing or keep normal? life hi hoti hai actors ke bachche ki now i feel uh, i think we just got lucky because uh, when my kids were really small uh, instagram wasn't that yeah. popular you know so we, it is right now hmm. so i i feel really bad for the star kids uh, yeah. the the kind of attention um adulation and you know uh, so much exposure they get because at that age they don't need it hmm. it's too early yeah since they're born it's it's really not nice and they need their privacy also right uh, i'm sure their parents also want that for them but i guess it's you can't control that anymore so it's tough i, I just got lucky if you were ever offered like an ott show or let's say a reality show would you pick it up depends ott of course hmm. reality depends on what kind of show wouldn't do like a what is they ended with big boss why wouldn't you because that's not me it's not my personality hmm. you I, want to open your facets out to everyone um not only that i'm a yeah like i'm a private person also i uh, i am a uh, I, i bit of a, i have a bit of a ocd so you know living with so many people and it's difficult and then you can't put your foot down uh, also uh, i i am very uh, I, I too many do's and don'ts and I, as in i'm very righteous hmm. if something is not right so i'll to be fighting only with people all the time <laughs> so you know is i tough to be an opinionated person in the industry or because i feel it's everywhere in corporate structure also it in is the tough. sense in the industry in the sense you might lose out on work and friends too friends i don't have so many from the industry mm. i have very few friends from the mm. industry but work you might you yeah might work you might mm. because the egos are so big that you True. might and one can't be constantly fanning egos yeah, everywhere but exactly. i'll tell you this is for everyone to know it's everywhere It's just that yeah, our, yeah yeah be, I'm talking about my it's, it's everywhere that's absolutely yeah. true yes. but I just feel that the fact that today women have become opinionated is a beautiful change yes, to watch yes of course uh, whether it's on social media whether it is you know in the interviews that I conduct with them or it is in personal conversations you just realize that okay you know you're deriving some strength out of one Correct. person to the other and putting it out there um tell me something you know when you had when you done interviews back in the day when you know press or print or court or a ye ho raha tha tab kya pressure lagta tha ki tabhi bhi aap ekdam relaxed ho chill out like this then also i always used to run away from them 
uh, and Hiten is always like, okay, interview, okay, I'm there. <laughs> so I'm still like that, though I'm much better now. Mm. Like, I remember earlier when uh, if I'm sitting in a restaurant, I'm with my friends uh, and if somebody would come to me for a picture, mm. uh, somebody from the restaurant, I would actually go under the table, <laughs> you know, and my friends used to laugh. And say that you're in a wrong profession. Yeah. But that's how I've been. Hmm. But now I'm much better. So coming to the shift that you've made as a full-time now entrepreneur with yoga, how tasking it is and like how you know satisfying it is. Very, very tasking. Very satisfying. That's why I'm doing it. Uh, and when people come come up to me or call me or message me and uh, with their problems, and if I'm able to solve that problem, it's it's like I sleep well in the night. So, uh, um, but it's extremely exhausting because I have classes from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. in the night. So, and it's back to back. So right now, face yoga, I've just kept it for three days in a week because I can't handle so many days. But most of, 50% um, of the students are from the US or the UK. So the time becomes a problem again. So, you know, I have to divide it accordingly where mornings and late nights of them and in between hours are from people from India. And other three days I take pranayam and antenatal yoga classes. Okay. And everything, thankfully everything is online and people are okay with it. Uh, otherwise, physically doing it, I'm sure it's going to be more exhausting. Yeah, it gets crazy tasking. Yeah. Now, tell me something, let's say if Ekta Kapoor calls you again and tells you, Goy, this is a show, full time, as like round the clock as it gets, you'll do it? If it excites me, yes, I'll do it. Hmm. So it's only the project and the yeah, script that would I be there. So you're not, you're not somebody who's like, okay, drawing a line, that I don't want to do this career, this career. No, it's and not I, like that. Oh. And that doesn't mean I leave my yoga. That is a part of me now. Yeah. So that I won't leave. You might have classes on the sets that you might be taking yeah, now. God, <laughs> oh God, that would get so exhausting. Oh my God, crazy. Um, lastly, if I had to ask you, you know, how is your entire process working on a film like that? You know, people always say that acting is a little different and it's subjecting to the script also, not the platform. Do you relate? I relate, but uh, on television also, I have never been very loud, hmm. you know, as an actor. Yeah. So it wasn't a major shift for me. It was, uh, the transition was pretty easy. Also, what really helped was, we did a, a long workshop before we left for the shoot. Uh, so if there are there were a few points which the directors were not ha was not happy about, then we worked on them, and it went for for about a couple of months before we actually went to Shimla. Uh, most of it was online, and then before we left, we met a couple of times, all of us. So that really really helped. You know the anxiety also the meeting new people, working that was not there. Not no. there at all. And like when you're working on a film set, do you feel the pressure is added or it's because you No, it was chilled out because uh, you know how it is on television. It's like a factory, right? Yeah. It's non-stop. You're given a dialogue for 20 pages and told that, okay, now next 20 minutes you have to be ready. So, yeah. So, I, uh, I have said this in all my interviews. If you've done Indian television, uh, maybe for a couple of years, uh, even a couple of years is enough, huh? You can work anywhere else in the world. <laughs> yeah, in this media. So nice. yeah, in this. So it is. It is. It keeps you on your toes. You have no time to breathe. You're non constantly working. So and films are very chilled out. Yeah, it's not like that. You have so much time. So much. So many people are around to help you. And it's it's a different ball game. But it's much easier, I feel, than doing television. Just picking from there only, I want to ask you additionally, you know, when you see that kind of fame and success, the kind that you saw, uh, at that given point in time, you know, when you, I understand there are other things also that are your priorities, but to just give it all up, not tough, that adulation, because I'll tell you what happens, um, when they say, and this is more personally why I'm saying this, a little bit of external validation gives you that push in life. Some people want it more, some people want it less. It's a more internal process for them. For somebody of your stature, that external validation was also a lot of love in terms of the fans that you had. As you said, you know, people, kapde aapke, hair aapke, whatever, jewelry. At that point in time, when I take you back there, did you not feel that if I pushed myself harder to be slightly more competitive or driven, things could have happened faster? No, then it was, then I would have had to change my personality, right? I, 
I was okay with it because everything was planned. As in the sense, I wanted to have kids. That was my priority. When we had kids, I wanted to stop working. I wanted to do all those things which happened to me, and luckily it worked out for me. Okay. Another thing is we've been very lucky in the sense. Till today, I think we have the same number of fans, even more, yeah. after so many years of uh, uh, working. Yeah. And it is amazing because even if I have not come on the uh, on uh, uh, screen for so many years, people still yeah. uh, you There know adore you. Yeah, yeah. it's not there for us, which is yeah. just amazing. Yeah. And um, so it it doesn't feel that I'm not there. I'm still getting it, but at the same time, I'm also enjoying what I'm doing. Plus, there was so much I missed out on when I was working. Like a mad woman, th those days, you know. I wanted to do so many other things, like I said. So I got to do all those things. Okay. So I don't have any regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Lovely. This was a nice chat. I'm, I'm very, very happy. Although I'm going to put it out there that somebody should get Gauri and Hitain to do a show again, yeah. or like a, or like a series, something which is more short. You yeah. know, that, that yeah. does not take too much time with the both of yours because that pair was like, you know, जो लड़ाई होती थी आप लोगों की शो में, you know, you don't like each other and then you fall in love. It's such a typical thing. We don't get that love anymore. So maybe something more relatable and fun to see the both of you together would yeah, be nice. Yeah, I, I would like that too. It will be good to watch you guys together soon, and I'm wishing you all the very best for your film. Thank you so much. More movies, more T T, more Gauri, more Hitay and Gauri together would be like what I'm putting out there, and of course the yoga projects as well. Yes. So thank you so much. We're very happy to be here at your home and to have this conversation with you. Now that I know that you have yoga classes from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., <laughs> so yes, so we have taken a half hour to take you. But thank you so much. Thank for you that. so much. It was lovely talking to you. Likewise.